all right so this question again <coughs> came for four marks from uh, June 2015 paper and it's based on solid solid state right so or basically to be more precise on Bragg's law right so the Bragg's law is n lambda equal to 2 d sine theta okay and uh, I'll come on to the uh, terms what does each term mean so the, let's just read out the question first so silver crystallizes in FCC structure the second order diffraction angle of a beam of x-ray of uh, uh, the wavelength 1 Armstrong is given of triple 1 plane of crystal is 30 degree find the unit length of crystal right so it's telling us to find the unit length of the crystal that is the value of a okay and uh, <coughs> so n over here n is our uh, order of diffraction n is basically nothing but the order okay n is the order of the order will be given in the question right lambda is the wavelength which is given to us as one armstrong right that the x-ray has the wavelength of one armstrong and sine theta is the angle of diffraction and theta is given to us as 30 degree right so theta is given to us as 30 degree right theta is given to us as 30 degree lambda is given to us as one armstrong lambda is given as to us as one armstrong right lambda is given one armstrong and n the second order so order is also given so n, n value is also given equal to 2 so if it's first order then n is equal to 1 if it's second order or if it's third order whatever is given in the question then you calculate accordingly right so we have been given n we have been given lambda and and d d is equal to the value of d is equal to a upon under root of h square plus k square okay plus l square and what are these these the value of h k, h k and h k and l are nothing but miller indices okay they are called as miller indices right they're called as miller indices and uh, so what are miller indices miller indices are nothing but the reciprocals of coordinates okay so it is basically a simpler nomenclature so for example if in a crystal you have been given coordinates say 1 by 2 okay 1 by 3 and 1 these are the these are the three coordinates three coordinates that have been given to us in the x y and z these are the x y and z coordinates right so if it's in, if it's given fractions it sometimes becomes difficult for you to uh, it becomes difficult for you to you know uh, difficult for the person to uh, actually uh, you know uh, map out the value so what what generally is done is the reciprocal of this is taken so the reciprocal of 1 by 2 will be 2 the reciprocal of 1 by 3 will be 3 and the reciprocal of 1 will be equal to 1 only so these are the Miller indices so Miller indices are nothing but the reciprocal of the coordinates so these values h k and l are the are the Miller indices right so generally whenever the coordinates of a plane are given it's generally in the form of miller indices so over here it's given 1 1 1 and we need to find out a right so you can just replace you can just put the values of h k and l equal to 1 so this com d comes out to be a by root 3 right now if you put the values n is equal to 2 so 2 into 1 i'm strong okay 2 into 1 I am strong equal to 2 into D D is given as, given to us as a by root 3 we found out it's equal to a by root 3 okay and sine theta is again equal to half okay sine 30 is equal to half so theta is given to us the the diffraction angle is given to us as 30 degree right so sine sine 30 is 1 by 2 so we have to so 2 2 gets cancelled uh, one remains as it is so a by root 3 equal to so this 2 2 root 3 goes over here so basically what happens is the value of a comes out to be equal to 2 root 3 
right if you solve this equation over here the value comes out to be I'll just highlight the equation so if you solve this equation the value of a comes out to be equal to 2 root 3 and root 3 is equal to 2 root 3 I'm strong 2 root 2 root 3 I'm strong the units will be I'm strong the unit is also important sometimes in the equation they'll give you some other unit units right so it's important to write down the unit as well now the value of root 3 is 1.732 so this comes out to be 2 into 1.732 right so this value comes out to be 3.464 so option number four is the correct answer so this was a four marker very easy uh, totally formula based there's nothing that you had to do differently right and generally in such numericals because you are not allowed a calculator in the CSI net paper so the calculations are going to be very simple they are not going to be tough at all and you will definitely get an exact answer if you are getting somewhere very very close by then you can mark that as the correct answer but generally whenever you get questions from CSI net and I have observed it a lot that whenever you're getting questions in CSI net the answer comes out to be exact okay it's not approximate it's always exact so if you're getting somewhere approximate or somewhere you know in between two options then you definitely should recheck your answer or, or you shouldn't attempt the attempt the question because generally I'm telling you in net paper because calculators are not allowed the value comes out to be very precise and you know uh, it's not an approximate value like in gate you can still get an approximate value but in net questions you always get the bang on correct answer okay yeah I mean point to point you get the correct answer so just be vigilant when you're doing questions uh, numerical questions okay